All right, Toy and Sanity here. Against all odds, we made it to November in the Garbage Pail Kids Bizarre Calendar and Toy and Sanity's world famous Insanity Calendar. Adam made some new friends. Today is Charlie Brown's birthday. Happy birthday, my dude. November 1st, it says National Brush Day. This was created by, uh, you know, the Dental Association or the American Ad Council, I think, because the day after Halloween, you get all that candy and they want you to brush your teeth. I would like to report it is also National Calzone Day, National Vegan Day, and Hello Kitty's birthday. The only Hello Kitty Funko Pop I have is the Statue of Liberty one. November 2, plan your epitaph day. <clears throat> well, my epitaph is obviously going to say, thumbs up, bye. Or I was thinking it could say, uh, here lies Toy Insanity. Tried to collect them all and died trying. Maybe you should say, uh, here lies Toy Insanity. Collected them all and had no family. Uh, November 2 is also National Piggy Bank Day. We did a video last year. Stress Awareness Day. November 3rd. I'm putting these in a box so they don't throw away. Uh, blow away. National Godzilla Day. 1954. November 3rd is when Godzilla hit the scene. The Tokyo scene. It's also National Sandwich Day. That is indeed true. Last year we did a recipe from... The, you know, the cookbook, the GPK cookbook. We did them all. Oh, my God. We just finished last month on Meatloaf Day. Cliche Day. That's a Thomas and Ruth Roy. You go around, uh, you know, just stating cliches. And uh, National Jellyfish Day. November 4, King Tut Day. Well, it was November 4th, 1922, that King Tut was discovered and the Egyptian curse was released upon Earth. Not four is also National Candy Day. That's a big one. Uh, one year we did a Liberty Insanity, and one year we, uh, I think, just ate some lemonades. National Bison Day also. Remember, remember the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes Day. I did a video on that once. I think I read the whole poem, perhaps even backwards. National Donut Appreciation Day, well, Donut Hole Joe, we did his recipe. Now, that's the thing, the National Donut Day, spelled the, spelled the, anyway, there's a National Donut Day for the Brits and a different day for the Americans. National Saxophone Day, Nov 6, that is indeed, that was created because the, uh, the guy who invented the saxophone was born on Nov 6. Anything else? Well, Netflix wants you to start acknowledging National Stranger Things Day, November 6th. Oh, I could have brought my uh, Demi Gorgon. No holiday to artists. To, no holiday today. Artists overslept. Well, God, one of the pages got away. No, this is called the the person who made this book didn't try. Didn't try. How about Notary Public Day? Better than nothing. How about Hug a Bear Day? It's kind of a thing that's similar to National Teddy Bear Day. Tongue Twister Day. Oh my God. I was gonna write some tongue twisters with the cats. Quimby Nimby. He's a flimby. Uh, Fuzzy Buzzy. Who's in, Bu Buzzy's not here. Fuzzy Buzzy uh, ha was a cat. Fuzzy Buzzy had no hat. What the heck you think of that? And then, and then there's Bert. Uh, Bertha Squirt laid in the dirt. Bertha Squirt, he likes to flirt. Uh, I don't know. Then there's Beans. Uh, there was Beans sitting on a sack of beans down in New Orleans. Uh, then there's uh, Butternut. There's already a famous tongue twister about butter, right? Betty Butter put a pat of butter in the batter and something like that. And then, did I at least mention all five Insanity Cats? This is Quimby. He's very old. Okay, tongue twister day. Nav 8, STEM Day, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and Dunce Day. 
maybe the inventor of the dunce cap was born that day. Uh, Knob 9, there's lots of stuff on this day. Jam-packed. But they picked Chaos Never Dies Day. And that has Thomas and Ruth Roy written all over it, but I could not confirm. I could not confirm. My guess is it's just kind of supposed to be the antithesis of Freedom Day. This is National Freedom Day, created by George Bush. So I'm, I'm guessing someone out there said, you know, the opposite of freedom is probably potentially chaos. But this is also Felix the Cat's birthday. What's up, my dude? Go to an art museum day. We did a Scream Insanity last year. <clears throat> Wu-Tang Day. For reals. It's the Wu-Tang Clan's birthday. Represent. Cash rules everything around me. Cream. Uh, okay. Fried Chicken Sandwich Day. I think that was created by Popeyes. Okay, we're, we're moving on to Knob 10. It says National Vanilla Cupcake Day. Sure. It's also National Accounting Day. And get this. National Sesame Street Day. I should have brought Oscar. I think it's the only one I have. Uh, yeah, but the street started in 1969. Turns however many years old. Knob 10. Golly. Knob, knob 11. Veterans Day in the USA. Okay, this is uh, very importantly National Spinal Tap Day because uh, we have amps that go up to 11. 11, 11. My goodness, you're a little ham. Oh, and they put National Sunday Day. Now listen, we petitioned to get National Friday, like French fries moved to... The, uh, <laughs> honestly, I forgot if it's the last Friday or the first Friday in July, but we got it moved. Friday is officially on a Friday. Now I was thinking this, we should obviously do the same thing for Sunday. See, why is, it, why is Sunday on a Saturday? But I realized, or I'm inclined to believe this is true, once upon a time, ice cream was prohibited on the Sabbath. So, the, so this dude invented the Sunday to, to circumvent this. He's like, this ain't ice cream, this is a Sunday. Still though, that kind of lends itself, it should be, it should, the holiday should be on a Sunday, whatever. You think it over and let me know. Uh, not 12. Is uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul Day, National Blanket Day, it's Stan Lee's Death Day. R.I.P. Mr. Stan Lee. My Godness. Knob 13, Odd Socks Day. I think that's started in England. Symphonic Metal Day. I can't find any, I don't know... I don't know why Symphonic Metal Day exists. And Pizza with the Works Day. Pizza with the Works, no anchovies. And the point of that is, sometimes people will be feeling hungry, they'll be feeling, you know, a little bit, you know, experimental in their pizza choices. And they'll roll in and they'll say, just give me Pizza with the Works. And, you know, pizza, man, pizza makers love this because they throw everything on there, including anchovies. And then you eat that stuff, and you're like, this is disgusting. So you got to remember to say, with the words, no anchovies. Symphonic metal, nobody knows. But this is uh, this is Chicken Nugget Day. One of America's most important inventions. Odd Socks Day, Orphan's Day. Nov 14. Very important for those of us who suffer from diabetes. Uh, it's National Diabetes Day. National Pickle Day. I think we did something last year. Not pickle me Elmos. We had some actual pickled pickled peats or something. Pickle Ricks? I don't remember. Not 14. Loosen up, lighten up day. That's a reference to Ferris Bueller, but it's not the day Ferris Bueller debuted, so whatever. Clean your refrigerator day. This was created by the Maytag Appliance Company like 20-some years ago. And uh, it's also Steve Irwin day. That's why he's on the thumbnail. National Button Day. This goes back to like the 30s. And it literally is these kind of buttons, not a button you'd wear, not, you know, not a pin back that would say, you know, vote Pedro or something. This is actual buttons created by the National Button Society. Uh, also, National Fast Food Day and Guinness World Records Day. Guinness World Record Day used to be <clears throat> November 9th, but I guess they said too many, too many other things are on Nov 9. But that was the day that the most world records had been beat by one person. National Take a Hike Day. This is probably created by the National, you know, Outdoor Foundation. Uh, we're looking at Nov 17 Butter Day. 
seriously represent but who doesn't like butter I mean at least a little bit oh my god Nov 18 William Tell Day uh, this celebrates the guy who you know famously got an apple shot off his head uh, also more importantly Mickey and Minnie's 95th birthday they were they debuted at the same time in Steamboat Willie and this is important because they are turning 95 which means uh, trademark is up Steamboat Willie apparently allegedly supposedly is in the public domain have a bad day day this is confirmed Thomas and Ruth Roy the creators of many bizarre holidays in the 1980s have a bad day day oh my god this is oh this day is chocolate loaded it is Tinkerbell's birthday she was born from the breath of a baby I'm trying to get I'm trying to talk mom insanity that's her favorite character in the world I'm trying to get her to do a video I doubt she will so it's also national pop tart day double dipping on the insanity calendar may 19th and november 19th for real they created two holidays national monopoly day oh my god i could have brought the monopoly dude and my little pony day monopoly my little pony tinkerbell and pop tarts oh and national toilet day why would they pick have a bad day day over national toilet day come on gpk Universal Children's Day, that is a United Nations thing. I don't know why it's in a bizarre calendar. Uh, but, uh, you know, they had a choice. They could have gone with... It's, it's literally National Absurdity Day. They went with Children's Day. Not bizarre. Uh, World Hello Day. I don't know the history of that, but it's probably related to the fact it's World TV Day. TV Day which I think is United Nations Day. Go for a ride day. Well, we just went for a hike, now we're going for a ride. I don't know who created Go for a Ride Day, but it's also uh, Toy Story's birthday and the jukebox, National Jukebox Day. Get a load of that. Uh, furthermore, one more thing, Wolfen Newt, which is a New Zealand thing. Some child, age seven, was kind of like, the way I understand it, was like, why isn't there a holiday for wolves? He loved wolves, age seven. This was five years ago, so I guess he's 13 now. Yeah, anyway, just so, celebrate wolves and go for a ride. Shh, mm. Okay, I just told you what that is, so now you know. It's also National Cashew Day. We did a video during the year of the nut. Nut insanity. And, let's try this, Quimby. And, Fibonacci Day, November 23rd. Because if you know what a Fibonacci sequence is, one, one, two, three, you're adding the number four, so one plus one is two, one plus two is three, three plus three is five, five plus three is eight, you dig it. Fibonacci represent cashews, Fibonacci's, and wolves. Evolution Day, not to be confused with Darwin Day, Evolution Day is uh, the, you know, not 24 is, the, is when uh, Origin of Species was published. We're almost done, Quimby. Shopping reminder day. That's because Nov 25 is one month from deck 25. Uh, Spin Master. They, they, you know, they made Kinetic Sand Day and all that. This is National Tech Deck Day. National Fingerboard, a.k.a. National Fingerboarding Day. So, I respect that, uh, those things. And, Blase Day. So, Thomas and Ruth Roy did the have a bad day day, the cliche day, blase day. See, so you just kind of, uh, meh, feeling blase about life. November 26th, National Cake Day. Well, I did a video on that day during the marsh, the year of the Marshmallow, Marshmallow Insanity Project. Uh, that was cool. But there's practically nothing else on that day. God, Adam. Uh, this has to be the thumbnail somehow. Whatever, the cake was invented in 1789. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Pins and Needles Day. This has to do with a Broadway play that came out on that day decades ago. But this is, listen, this is Electric Guitar Day. Because 
It is Jimi Hendrix's birthday. I thought I had a Jimi Hendrix Funko Pop. Apparently not. Uh, Red Planet Day, Nov 28. We looked at some Mars Attack stuff last year. Make your own head day. That sounds like Thomas and Ruth Roy, but I cannot confirm. Uh, French Toast Day, okay. And finally, my God. Nov 29, 29 days in Nov. No, there's 30. What am I talking about? Okay. Square Dance Day and throw out your leftovers day because we're basically, at this point, you're six days from Thanksgiving. Finally, my God, National Mason Jar Day. This one's only about five years old. It was created by some lady who started a box subscription service of weird things in jars. Okay, Quimby. And uh, thanks for looking. Thanks for thanks to everyone who looked at this video and thumbed it up. Every day is bizarre. Every day is insane. We got one month left. One month left.